Good evening, everyone. This is the Idle Mind, and as uh, if any of you were uh, maybe not long-time viewers, but if you keep track of my videos, I'm sure you would have by now recognized the setting, uh, this sofa, and uh, you can clearly tell that this is a lecture. You know, really, uh, what I find amusing is that you know I haven't actually filmed. Uh, a lecture sitting on this sofa or even in this room uh, for over a year and uh, you know if you look back at my videos uh, you can do that right now uh, this looks pretty much exactly the same you know almost unchanged almost like going back in time but uh, really you know what significance is going a year back make you know so uh, you know I mentioned time okay I mentioned time, I mentioned the setting. Do you know what I'm talking about today? Yeah, you guessed it. Today, we are talking all about the dentist. You know, it's an odd topic uh, to talk about. Uh, you really don't hear too many lectures on the dentist. You know, maybe just something for uh, little kids saying, oh, go to the dentist, you know, which you should, you should go to the dentist. But, uh, you know, today we're going to be covering uh, all different subjects on the dentist. Let me have a drink first. You know, I'm quite thirsty tonight. I'm just going to say it out right. I, uh, I had a pretty decent dinner, you know, to tell you the truth. I had uh, two slices of pizza from a local pizza place and uh, a few wings. So, you know, I mean, it's salty, so I suppose that only explains my thirst. Uh, though, believe it or not, I actually am a water drinker. Uh, just something to know. You always see me doing the energy drink reviews, but believe it or not, I actually do drink a lot of coffee and water also. You know, which isn't bad. You know, all that sugar in energy drinks. Uh, although, you know, taken sporadically, you know, isn't bad for you eventually, without proper dental care, could lead to cavities and other damage. And that is one thing that the dentist covers. But you know what, before we get into all the procedures, let's take it from the top, shall we? What is the dentist? Uh, of course, probably many of you know, but, no, well, let's recap. Let's see this. What is the dentist? Go ahead and think about that for a minute. Not like anyone actually will. <clears throat> the dentist is basically a doctor for your mouth. It's that simple. You have teeth, at least most of you do. Maybe a few of you have dentures, you know, maybe a few of you lost them in a fight, but for the most part, 90%, 95, we'll say 95% of you have teeth, all right? You have teeth, you have gums, you have a tongue, you know, you have all of that, hopefully. Uh, at least the select few of you have them all, you know? So, a dentist is basically just a doctor who makes sure that that whole area in your mouth is in check. All right? You know, when you go to a dentist, usually, they always examine your mouth. They check for any cavities, any issues, uh, any concerns that you may have. Uh, usually just during a routine appointment, they'll clean your teeth, you know, sometimes clean your gums, floss. I mean, just make sure everything's up to date and in check. So basically, a dentist is just that. It's a person who usually just takes care of your mouth and makes sure that everything's fine. Because, remember this, if you lose your adult teeth, they're never going to come back. You know, the best you could get is dentures, but after you ruin your adult teeth, you'll never get them back. That's why dentists are very important. Because, quite frankly, you only have one set of these, and let me tell you, if they're gone, they're gone. Alright? There's no getting back the real deal. Now, when you go to the dentist, you'll probably notice that there is, it depends on what dentist you go to, but there's probably between, you know, seven and ten employees there. Are all those people licensed doctors? Absolutely not. You know, maybe one or two of them are. But what are the rest? What do you call them? Well, the most predominant employees there that you probably see more than the dentist himself or herself is the hygienist. Now, the hygienist 
differs from a dentist mostly because the dentist has a PhD usually and spe specializes in taking care of your mouth and knows how to analyze everything. The hygienist basically is the person who does all the dirty work. Usually the hygienist doesn't have a PhD or an MD or any of those. Uh, the hygienist usually simply is just there to take care of your mouth. Do all the dirty work and let the dentist do all the talking. The hygienist usually is the person who cleans your mouth, checks out your mouth, goes in there with the mirror and the pick, and basically just checks everything out and then reports it to the dentist. So usually the first person to see you when you go to the dentist is the hygienist. And then usually later on the dentist might come in. Or it all depends. Or sometimes the hygienist is just always there or during a procedure they'll hand the dentist some tools. But usually the hygienist you know, with simple things like brushing the teeth and examining them, the hygienist will usually do most of the work. But say in a detailed procedure, such as root canal, or a cavity filling even, uh, the dentist is usually the person who does most of the work. So there's a clear difference between a hygienist and a dentist. Uh, to put it in simple terms, the dentist is the person in charge, the hygienist is the person who does all the work. It's that simple. The hygienist is the assistant, the dentist is the director. It's that simple. You know, there really isn't too much to it. Look at that. Would you see that? I've already drank most of my water. Probably gonna have to get another glass soon. But you know what? You gotta look at it positively. What's what? What's better? All right, a glass of water like this. Or, we'll just say, Mountain Dew, alright? Which is better for your teeth, alright? I don't want to, you know, bash any Mountain Dew drinkers. I've had a few bottles in my day. But, what's better? No, that's wrong. You know, it's not Mountain Dew, okay? Don't say that. Water. Water is usually better. It might not taste superior. Maybe it does, it depends. I think it does, but you may not. But it's better for your mouth. And then you don't have to visit the cursed dentist every two weeks or however many, however many times you have to. <sighs> so, what are some things that the dentist does? Well, the dentist usually checks up on your teeth uh, after the hygienist examines them uh, during an appointment. The dentist will sometimes come in and just check out your teeth, uh, analyze everything. What I've mostly seen a dentist do is work on procedures and direct procedures. Uh, for instance, filling a cavity. Now, what is a cavity exam? Uh, you know, what is a cavity exactly? A cavity is basically a hole in your tooth. All right, that's basically what it is. A cavity is a hole in your tooth, uh, usually caused by decay, uh, be it by sugar, uh, or rotting food, or even some sort of acidic beverage. Uh, or just neglect, you know, usually neglect. Uh, a cavity, mostly small, uh, can get become very large, uh, which would then have to resort to root canal in some cases. However, we'll just focus on smaller cavities. Now, in order to get rid of one, first the dentist needs to basically drill away all of the cavity that's there. He usually looks in uh, with a mirror. He'll sometimes set up a rubber dam which will, number one, keep any saliva from going out and keep any water from going in. Uh, very interesting. I've actually used one before at the dentist. Uh, they might also use something that actually keeps your mouth propped open, uh, which is also good. Must work for you. Uh, and then, they'll, once again, they'll get this drill and they'll basically just drill away at any cavity there is until it's completely gone. Then they'll get this one tool that just uh, basically just vibrates and just polishes the whole area. Then they'll fill it in, polish it again, rinse it out, and there you go. And there's also this little light that the dentist shines on it, you know, to, uh, to really get it clear. That's the common procedure that most dentists help doing, you know, is filling the cavity. Uh, you know, another, another real procedure that, uh, and we actually have a special kind of dentist to do this, is a root canal. 
And that basically is where they take the tooth, they literally scoop out the insides, put a filling in there, and close it up. That's what a root canal is. I've never had one done, thankfully. Uh, there's been a lot of bad rumors circulating them. But you know what? I wouldn't believe them. You know what? I wouldn't believe it until it would happen to me. And I'm planning on it happen happening to me anytime soon. So there are just two common procedures done by the dentist. Now, let's go into the kitchen, or even bathroom, and let's just see what type of tools a common dentist would use. We're going to go into the kitchen because that's where I have them laid out on the counter. However, most commonly, your toothbrushes and all of that would probably be in the bathroom. But, for just the sake of professionalism, we shall go into the kitchen. Shall we? And maybe I'll get another glass of water while we're there. So come on, let's go. Let's check this out. Let's see what kind of tools a dentist might use. And what type of tools any person would have in their house. Let's check. Alright, so here we are in the kitchen. Now, obviously, you know, sometimes this is found in here, but most of the time, the co most common place, you know, to find toothbrushes and toothpaste and other common dental tools uh, in the household is usually the bathroom. However, because this is a good counter here, good place to lay them down, um, we'll just show them here. Why not, right? So, the first dental tool that you could commonly find in your house is the toothbrush. The toothbrush, hence the name, is just this brush that is used to clean your teeth. This one is made by Colgate. Uh, it's actually a pretty well-known dental hygiene brand. Uh, they also make toothpaste, but for all of you who don't know what toothpaste is, we'll cover that later. So basically, this toothbrush uh, there's the brush on the end. You basically hold it by the handle here, and you scrub your teeth with it, with it whilst applying toothpaste to the bristles here. Now, this uh, toothbrush, uh, those, not all of them do this, uh, actually vibrates. So, uh, I guess that adds an added cleaning uh, to your teeth. All for the best, right? But this basically, hence the name, is a brush used to clean your teeth teeth. Now, what goes hand in hand with a toothbrush? You guessed it. Toothpaste. Uh, this is Aquafresh Fluoride Toothpaste Extreme Clean uh, with microactive foaming action plus whitening for a whole mouth clean deep action. Uh, let's see. Uh, Active ingredient is sodium fluoride. Uh, directions. <laughs> no, no, I'm just. I'm not going to review this. This isn't a toothpaste review. Uh, this is toothpaste. And as you can see, it's in this tube. Now, basically, what you do, you take the cap off and you apply it to the bristle of the toothbrush. So, basically, this goes hand in hand. Toothpaste is basically a formula that is used to help clean your teeth. All right. Basically, a formula that is used to help clean your teeth. And, uh, you know, basically helps your teeth, sometimes makes them stronger. Basically just wipes all the crud off, leaves them feeling nice and fresh. And uh, your breath minty, and your mouth really sensitive to cold water. But it's all for the best. Now, right here is something that we call a flosser, alright? You basically see this? And that little string there in the middle... You basically stick in between your teeth, and that cleans out any of the crud that's in between them. Now, what I like about this one is that it also comes with this on the end. I don't know how well you could see it, but it's got this little... See how, see how it's pointed there? That's actually a little pick where you could stick it in between your teeth for something stubborn and just get it out, all right? So that's like a last resort type of thing before you have to resort to hydrochloric acid, you know, to getting whatever's in between the teeth out there, but... First, you would just use this, put it in between the teeth, try to get it out. If you can't do that, stick the pick in, get it out. Now, another type of floss, I don't have any of these, but as you can see, it basically just attaches up into here. It pretty much looks the same as this one, but uh, basically just attach it up to here, and then you have a little handle so you could hold it like a toothbrush. All right? 
Now, another thing that's usually used after that, oh, you saw it go by. What is it? What is it? Listerine. Basically, Listerine is just a formula that is used to basically just help uh, rinse your mouth out uh, after you brush your teeth. Basically, it gets rid of any excess germs, uh, any toothpaste residue. Basically, just leaves your mouth feeling clean. And basically just gives your breath a uh, little minty uh, scent to it. And once again, makes your mouth basically just sensitive as heck uh, to the uh, to any like cold beverages like water, for instance. Now, what I do not have, it's actually right over there, but I'm not going to get up and get it, uh, is a tongue brush. And what it is, it looks exactly like this, except the top is more like round, like a circle, but still with the bristles. And you can actually use that to brush your tongue as well. Gotta have a clean tongue as well. Now, another thing that usually the dentist has, not most people, but usually the dentist has a mirror, which you stick in so you can see the back of your mouth. Now, I don't have a dental mirror, but I do have a mirror here. So I'm going to show it to you all and prepare to have your mind blown. Whoa, there I am. There I am holding the camera. Whoa. Mind equals blown. But yeah, there I am. In the kitchen. Uh, yeah. Hi. Uh, there I am. That's basically what a mirror looks like. Uh, it's not mine. But uh, I just wanted to show you what a mirror looks like. Uh, it basically shows your reflection uh, whilst looking into it. Uh, and basically the dentists use a mirror like this. Uh, obviously very small though, uh, with a handle, uh, and they use it just to stick into your mouth, just so that they can see uh, into the back of your mouth, and uh, you know, just check sometimes like the back of teeth or in between teeth. Uh, but if they really want to look in depth for cavities or any other issues, they can simply uh, just take a scan and uh, or an x-ray and that would be that. So these are basically just some simple dental tools uh, that you could find at home. And uh, that's all we have to offer there. Of course, there's many more sophisticated tools at the dentist's office. But the next time you spend some time with the dentist at an appointment or whatever, uh, feel free to ask about them like anyone will. All right, I'll see you soon. All right, so we are back. So what did you think of that? How many of those dental tools do you have in your house? All of them? More? Less? I'm sure at least you have a toothbrush and toothpaste. Which, you know, in all honesty, it's all you really need. However, all the other accessories are always good for proper dental hygiene. You know, just recently, a few months ago, I was actually at the dentist and I got a cavity filled. But, uh, you know, overall, it has to be done uh, every now and then. But, uh, you know, really, the dentist is nothing to worry about. All right? I know many people are afraid of the dentist, but it's nothing to worry about at all. Just remember that they're only here to help you, and you should really make the best of that. Now, after you get a cavity filled or any other procedure done, you know, if you do experience some pain afterward or hot, cold sensitivity, don't worry, it's only temporary, and it's for the best. And just remember, always try to brush, floss, rinse out with, rinse out with mouthwash at least once or twice a day. I try to get it done twice, but if you do the full procedure once, I think you'll be safe. Fair enough. Fair enough. Good talk. Good talk. What about the dentist? When are you going to be going to the dentist next? Well, either way, good luck. Do you know what I'm holding? Rectangular in shape. One yellow side, one green side. Do you know what this is? No, it's not that. This is what we call a sponge. 
Do you have any of those in your edifice? Do you? Take a look. What is a sponge used for? Now, really, if you're looking for one of these right now, while this audio is going, uh, take a look in the kitchen, take a look near your sink, and report the findings back. Have you found one? That's one. Basically, a sponge, as you can see, is basically, well, spongy in texture on one side and rougher in texture on the other. And it's basically used to clean dishes, stains, or any other difficult spots. Uh, it mostly is used as a cleaning device, uh, though I suppose other people could give it a different use. But uh, mostly as a cleaning device. And uh, it really absorbs copious amounts of water on the yellow spongy side, which is good for cleaning. So if you ever see a sponge like this, just remember that it's always good for cleaning, and it's always a tool that you could have on your side. But remember, don't use it as a toothbrush. Now another type of sponge that there also is, actually, is on my shoe polish. If you take a look at this, this is actually a sponge as well. However, it is actually absorbed <clears throat> and full of the liquid shoe polish that I use to polish my shoes. So this is not used for cleaning. That one is, though. So there are different types of sponges. However, I'd better save this in case I want to do a whole lecture on them, which seems unlikely, but knowing the topics I do, you never know. Well, it's almost Christmas. Almost there. Just hold out a little while longer. Only like a week and a half left, so. You know what? Make the best of it. Uh, hope you enjoy the holidays. I'm sure there'll be a video before Christmas uh, that I'll make. Maybe my Christmas blowout. But uh, we'll see. Um, yeah, that's about it. So, this is the Idle Mind, and today we talked all about dental care. Uh, I would play the Owl City song right now, but to avoid copyright. I decided not to, so I left uh, MDZHB going in the background. If you don't know what that is, look up the buzzer on Google and read the whole spiel about it. Don't even know if you could hear it. That's about it. Uh, yeah, there you have it. Alright, this was the Idle Mind, and uh, you know, take care and have a good day. And remember, keep your teeth in good condition, and they'll stay with you. And if not, they'll go away never to return. The dentist is your friend. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you later. Take it easy now. I'll see you later. Take care, guys.